Everybody, Ronnie here. Um, I just got off the phone with Peterbilt, and I would love to talk to you about that because Peterbilt called me this time. But uh, before we get to that, I got to show you this. Look at that. Bullshit parking job. Freestyle transportation. Or freestyle trucking, I think is what it says on there. He is taking up four spaces. Why? Why? This is ridiculous. I just walked by the fuel pumps. And there's a CR England driver that, uh, I don't know, maybe he's taking a shower. But he was not in his truck before the, uh, the, the, the pumps. When I walked in, I w went to the Carl's Jr. I got a burger and some jalapeno poppers. Walked back out. And he still wasn't in his truck. What is with these people? So, anyhow, here's my story about the lady that called me from Peterbilt. So, the uh, <clears throat> girl from Peterbilt called um, and uh, was asking me about my saga with the uh, uh, with my truck and then asked me if I if my truck was doing okay now and I was like as a matter of fact no and so she uh Asked me, you know, where's the nearest Peterbilt to me, you know, and that's, of all places, Pasco, Washington, where this whole thing started. And I was like, you know, that's where I've got to go because it's the closest place and I'm going to have to be towed, you know. So, you know, that's where I'll end up tomorrow. Um, I won't be able to get there until tomorrow morning. Because I'll have to be towed, and they're uh, they're closed already. So she uh, promised to uh, call ahead, get make sure that they are ready for me, and said that the uh, uh, the regional manager will be uh, put on top of this situation, and then told me that, you know, they can't really um, offer to, you know, catch me up on, you know, the income that I, I lost over this, but she can authorize uh, covering one payment for my truck. I pay $700 a week for my truck. Uh, thank you, Peterbilt. You can keep your $700. It's not going to make any difference. I'm so upset. And I'm going back up to Pasco, where they had my truck in the shop for a solid week. Told me four times that it was fixed when it wasn't. And then set me out on my fifth time. It broke within a 150 miles. I am so beyond upset. Uh, 
seriously, my my thought right now is maybe get rid of this truck. I guess I gotta go to Chicago. You know, I I, I love this truck and unfortunately it's just not taking care of me. You know, I've tried to take care of it. It has not taken care of me and um, you know, it's, it's just basically a, a, a big hole in the ground that I'm shoveling money into for all intents and purposes. You know, Peterbilt just clearly doesn't want to, you know, actually take care of their customer base. And uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to put it out here right now. All right. I, I you know, it, it's, as much as I have um, supported uh, PACAR in the past, uh, I'm going to suggest when you come to, to Super Ego or go anywhere to, to do a lease purchase. Stay away from the Packers. Okay, um, it's 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 not worth it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be at the uh, Peterbilt in the morning in Pasco, and I'll uh, I'll update you on what happens. Uh, but. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments, I don't need the, uh, the, the comment. You need to get rid of that. I know. <laughs> okay, but any other comments, please feel free to put them down in the comments section below. Um, if you want to reach out to me, my phone number is on the screen. And I will also put it in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.